What were the highlights of their time together? Paul McCartney, born James Paul McCartney on June 18, 1942, in Liverpool, England, and Linda McCartney, born Linda Louise Eastman on September 24, 1941, in Scarsdale, New York, were both iconic figures in the world of music. Paul, often heralded as one of the greatest songwriters of all time, co-founded The Beatles, a band that changed the course of music history. Linda, on the other hand, was a talented photographer and musician in her own right. Their paths converged in the mid-1960s, creating a love story that would become legendary. Their fateful encounter took place on May 15, 1967, at a London nightclub called The Bag O' Nails. Paul, at the height of Beatlemania, was instantly smitten by Linda, who was in town on a photography assignment. They met through a mutual friend and soon found themselves deeply drawn to each other. Their connection was immediate, and as Paul later recounted, it was love at first sight. The relationship quickly blossomed, but it wasn't without its challenges. At the time, Paul was dealing with the pressures of being a Beatle, and Linda was a single mother to her daughter, Heather Mills, from a previous marriage. Their love, however, persevered, and they tied the knot on March 12, 1969, in a small civil ceremony in London, cementing their commitment to each other. Their union was marked by creativity and collaboration. Linda, despite facing skepticism from some Beatles fans, became an integral part of Paul's post-Beatles music career. She joined him in his new band, Wings, and contributed keyboards and vocals to their music. Paul often spoke fondly of her musical talents and how they complemented each other artistically. Their partnership extended beyond music into the realm of vegetarianism and animal rights advocacy, shared passions that they championed together. Paul and Linda's love story continued to evolve as they became parents. They had three children together, Mary, born in 1969, Stella, born in 1971, and James, born in 1977. The McCartneys were a close-knit family, and their bond was palpable. They often retreated to their farm in Scotland, enjoying a quieter life away from the chaos of the music industry. This period of their life was marked by Linda's dedication to her family and her commitment to vegetarianism, which led to the release of her successful vegetarian cookbook, Linda McCartney's Home Cooking. Sadly, their idyllic life together was marred by tragedy. In 1998, Linda McCartney was diagnosed with breast cancer, a diagnosis that would ultimately lead to her untimely death. Despite her illness, Linda continued to fight for her beliefs and lived her life as fully as she could. She passed away on April 17, 1998, at the age of 56, leaving behind a grieving husband and children. Linda's death was a profound loss for Paul and their family, and it marked the end of a love story that had spanned over three decades. Her legacy as an artist, activist, and mother continued through her family's dedication to her values. In her honor, Paul and their children have remained staunch advocates for vegetarianism and animal rights. Paul McCartney, on the other hand, continues to be a music icon and a living legend. Despite the heartache of losing Linda, he has found love again and remarried. His enduring career and continued contributions to music serve as a testament to his resilience and creativity. Paul McCartney remains an influential figure in the music world and a beloved part of music history. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you on the next one.